So the interesting thing about Godzilla Minus One is that at this point, people are saying that it's so profoundly better than most modern Hollywood movies that it's one of the best films of the year. And I said this myself in my own review of Godzilla Minus One, but there are so many other people saying the same exact thing that it's kind of unavoidable at this point. And without giving spoilers, the movie does offer up an explanation as to why a continuation would be valid, which is what leads us into the speculation on whether or not that sequel is gonna happen. The director of the film had this to say after the movie was completed and released. I always had wanted to create a Godzilla work. So the moment a 50 year dream came true, and then there's kind of a breakup in the quote, but he says, but I feel lonely. I playfully but earnestly hope I can make about one more. And while reflecting on the ending of his movie, he shared this quote, I think it's more cinematic if it doesn't end neatly and properly. It's not just so a sequel can be made, it's also so the characters are kept alive in the hearts of the audience. Now, he later followed that up by adding, I wonder if they'll let me make another one. But look guys, that wasn't all the director had to say following the film's success. While also making a separate statement thanking the fans for being so positive towards his movie, he was quoted with the following, we're excited by the tremendous response in North America. I've been reading the fan feedback on social media and am very encouraged by the passionate comments based on a thorough analysis of the film. In some theaters, I've heard there was even applause. Thank you for warmly receiving our Godzilla. You know, the funniest thing about this recent flood of information coming out on Godzilla Minus One and the possibility of a sequel is that the previously reported budget for this movie turns out it's probably way lower than what we were even told. With the focus on how overbloated, you know, modern Hollywood movies have been, with price tags of around 100 to 250 million dollars to produce, the Marvels just recently tanked. Even Indiana Jones did really, really bad. So, with someone asking the director of Minus One this question, someone actually asked him whether or not it was true that his Godzilla movie was made on a 15 million dollar budget, and he responded by saying, "I wish it were that much." Look guys, at this point, I think it's fair to say that the newest Godzilla movie from Japan has not only blown Hollywood out of the water, but it's also justified the idea that good movies can and will be made if the proper mechanics behind the scenes are taken into consideration. And with the director earnestly wanting to make another movie, I honestly think it should be done as soon as possible. The only problem with that happens to be the fact that this would be an unorthodox move for Toho to make. The last direct sequel we got to a live action Japanese Godzilla movie was Godzilla Tokyo SOS in the early 2000s, and even Shin Godzilla from 2016, which was originally meant to get a sequel that of course got scrapped down the line, you know, that didn't happen. I did a whole video on that if you want to go into fuller details. So. While there is definitely interest to see more from the director and the film, you know, it's a massive hit, we're going to have to wait and see what the final verdict is on its production. Because truth be told, it could never, it could never happen, even with that cliffhanger ending that Godzilla Minus One showed us. I mean, it's not like that hasn't happened before in the past, the ending being a direct homage to a previous Godzilla film that didn't get a sequel. So at this point, we don't really know, but it could very well happen, and I think it's safe to say that people want it to happen from the film success. If anything, just to stick it to Hollywood again and show them you can make great movies for a very, very small budget in the modern age. That being said, guys, I want to hear what all of you think about the idea to make a Godzilla Minus One sequel. What would you like to see, you know, in the movie and how would you like to see them incorporate other ideas from the Godzilla franchise back into this little, you know, hypothetical universe. Personally, I would really, and this is a stretch, guys, I don't think this would ever happen, but just a little thing to throw out there. Imagine if we got two sequels to Godzilla Minus One. The first being a remake of Raids Again, they could call it Godzilla vs. Zangiris or something, and the last one, let, give them the rights to do King Kong. Let's get a Japanese King Kong vs. Godzilla thing going on. I think it would be great. That way, just like the first three Showa movies, you've got remakes that are kind of like reimaginings on the initial time in which the World War II stuff and everything was going out. But hey, those are all just my own thoughts and opinions on the subject matter. What do all of you guys think? And would you even like to see a sequel to Godzilla Minus One? Or do you think it's so good they should just move on and make something completely different? Whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear all about them in the comments down below.